Imagine watching a Boeing 777 measuring just 19 feet across taxiing past you. Welcome to Giant Scale Radio Controlled Aviation, cost up to $30,000 demanding skills rivaling full-scale pilots. Today we're counting down the 10 largest, most impressive RC aircraft ever built, answering why are these RC planes bigger than cars? Imagine standing beneath 32 feet of wingspan as this giant roars to life. It's four brushless electric motors screaming louder than your heartbeat while generating 50 pounds of combined thrust. Ramey RC and his dedicated team spent three years transforming aerospace dreams into flying reality, building what experts called impossible, the world's largest commercial airliner replica with functional folding wingtips that actually work. When they first unveiled blueprints, veteran pilots laughed, calling it aerodynamic suicide that would never leave the ground. They stopped laughing the moment 600 pounds of precisely engineered aircraft lifted off smoothly, climbing with the grace of a full-size jetliner. Advanced EPO foam construction reinforced with strategic carbon fiber, Longerons creates a structure so perfectly balanced that it handles like Boeing's actual 777X flying 35,000 feet overhead. The wing loading distribution matches commercial specifications, enabling smooth takeoffs from grass strips while maintaining stability during crosswind landings that would ground lesser models. Watch the cabin windows illuminate at dusk with scale LED lighting systems, and you'll understand why grown men cry at air shows when this beast flies past. Every functional flap responds through digital servos. Every spoiler deploys on command. Every control surface articulates exactly like the real aircraft through 24 independent control channels, communicating simultaneously. Ramey's 15 years of aerospace engineering experience culminated in hydraulic landing gear simulation so realistic that Tyler Perry himself stood speechless watching the maiden flight, later calling it the most incredible thing he'd ever witnessed. $15,000 buys you this engineering miracle if you can find one for sale, but the real investment is measured in thousands of hours, perfecting rivet lines, programming flight controllers, and calibrating center of gravity calculations that mean the difference between triumphant flight and catastrophic failure. Your neighbors will think you've lost your mind until they see it dominate the sky at the local flying field. Then they'll finally understand why some dreams demand this level of obsessive commitment to impossible goals. Yet even this technological marvel pales beside what one Austrian madman achieved when he decided four actual screaming jet turbines were the only acceptable power source. 328 pounds of screaming metal and carbon fiber accelerates down the runway at 40 miles per hour as four JetCat P300 Pro turbines howl like banshees at 16,000 RPM. And suddenly, you remember exactly why the Concorde made grown adults weep openly when it retired from service forever. Otto Wittelreuther's obsessive masterpiece, stretching 32 feet long with 13-foot wingspan and costing more than most people's cars, doesn't just honor the supersonic legend, it resurrects the exact visceral feeling of watching that needle nose climb toward the stratosphere at twice the speed of sound. Each miniature turbine pumps 66 pounds of raw thrust while burning jet A fuel at temperatures approaching 800 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a sound that vibrates your chest cavity and awakens something primal in anyone who remembers when breaking the sound barrier was routine for transatlantic passengers. Aerospace-grade carbon fiber and hand-formed aluminum construction bend and flex precisely as German engineers calculated, distributing aerodynamic forces that would snap conventional aircraft like toothpicks during aggressive maneuvers. The functional droop nose mechanism actually lowers hydraulically for ground visibility, just like the original Anglo-French dream machine that connected Paris and New York in three and a half hours. The landing gear engineering alone represents what most modelers consider physically impossible. 32 independently sprung wheels supporting massive weight while retracting cleanly into wheel wells that maintain perfect aerodynamic efficiency during supersonic flight simulation. Advanced digital telemetry systems feed real-time data on turbine exhaust temperatures, fuel burn rates measured in ounces per minute, and structural loads approaching limits that would terrify normal pilots who've never pushed their aircraft this hard. Multi-axis gyroscopic stabilization systems compensate for turbulence automatically, while control surfaces respond with airline precision despite proportions that seem to defy basic physics and common sense. $30,000 and five years of obsessive dedication created this tribute to international aerospace cooperation and engineering audacity that changed aviation forever. At Jet Power 2019 in Bavaria, Germany, hardened aviation professionals who'd seen everything stood absolutely speechless as Otto throttled up and this beast screamed past at scale speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Flying it demands more than exceptional piloting skill. It requires understanding why some machines transcend simple hobby and become living tributes to human achievement and technological progress. 
Across the Atlantic, another Cold War giant was being resurrected from Soviet-era blueprints that promised to dwarf even this supersonic legend. 32 independently sprung wheels touch down as six turbines wind down from operational roar, and everyone realizes they've witnessed something irreplaceable. The Antonov AN-225, 19 feet wingspan weighing 206 pounds, exists only in memories and faithful reproductions after Russia destroyed the original. This isn't modeling, it's historical preservation. Naval-grade aluminum spars run the entire span, techniques borrowed from actual aircraft manufacturing most hobbyists never attempt. Functional cargo doors open mid-flight, allowing simulated supply drops, recreating humanitarian mission capabilities. Jernot Brookman's demonstration at German air shows had Soviet aerospace veterans weeping, touching the model like a religious relic. Landing gear required eight months custom fabrication, each strut machined to tolerances measured in thousandths of an inch. Hydraulic pressure systems operate nose gear steering like the original that dominated Hostomel Airport. Antonov Airlines livery matches photographic documentation with obsessive precision that airline pilots mistake for promotional materials. $25,000 preserves Ukrainian heritage after the original burned. These models became the last flying connection to Antonov's greatest achievement. Every takeoff honors engineers who built the impossible. In France, another team proved civilian aviation magnificence through sheer passenger capacity. Double-decker dreams made miniature as four jet-smunt turbines spool up. 64 pounds, thrust pushing 198 pounds skyward. The Airbus A380, spanning 20 feet 1 inch, challenged Boeing dominance through revolutionary two-level capacity. Builders used hand-laid fiberglass molds and vacuum-bagged composites borrowed from aerospace manufacturing. Hobby King variants utilize electric ducted fans drawing 100 amperes combined at peak, requiring 20-pound battery packs alone. Advanced versions feature miniature turbines burning Jet A fuel, exhaust temperatures monitored through infrared sensors feeding real-time ground station data. Singapore Airlines and Emirates liveries applied using vinyl masks and automotive urethane clear coats. 198 pound mass demands 14 channel radio systems with redundant receivers preventing catastrophic loss during flights worth more than used cars. Builders spend months programming flight controllers automatically compensating for crosswinds. Wing loading approaches, full scale ratios enabling hauntingly realistic approach speeds during final. Investment reaches $30,000 for turbine examples, featuring full cockpit lighting visible through transparent windows at twilight. Operating costs include fuel, maintenance schedules, insurance policies. Some clubs now require the Airbus A380 proved commercial aviation, could achieve unprecedented scale and luxury but acrobatic specialists were building aggressive biplanes designed to push physical limits and defy gravity with radical maneuvers that commercial jets could never attempt. Picture a full-scale aerobatic biplane shrunk to 19 feet wingspan, but keeping every ounce of attitude and aggression. The Pitts Python, weighing 304 pounds, re presents the most aggressive RC design ever mass-produced by dedicated builders. Curtis Pitts applied decades of aerobatic expertise creating a model performing maneuvers, impose Cybel for aircraft twice its size with absolute precision. Four massive servos control surfaces designed for snap rolls so violent they blur camera footage during demonstrations. Carbon fiber, reinforced wings handle 12 G loads during inverted flat spins that leave spectators speechless and amazed. The airframe absorbs PU nishment that would shatter conventional models, then immediately executes another impossible maneuver without hesitation or structural compromise whatsoever. Desert Aerospace. Rally in Nevada witnessed this beast perform a 45 degree upline into a hammerhead stall at 200 feet altitude. Pilot Dave Schmidt held the stall for eight full seconds before dropping the nose into a vertical dive that pulled out just 20 feet above sagebrush crowd went absolutely silent, then erupted in applause that echoed across the entire dry lake bed, creating unforgettable memories. This monster demands respect from pilots who have mastered every other acrobatic model in their hangar collection. Price tag reaching $15,000 reflects engineering that prioritizes performance over profit margins. While acrobatic specialists were pushing physical limits with aggressive biplanes, commercial aviation enthusiasts were scaling up the most recognizable wide-body airliner ever built into miniature perfection honoring decades of aviation excellence. Standing before a 19 feet 8 inches Boeing 747RC model creates an almost surreal experience for aviation enthusiasts worldwide. This 90-pound masterpiece captures every iconic detail that transformed the original into a global symbol of the jet age. Four miniature turbine engines produce combined thrust pushing this scaled queen through the sky with grace that honors six decades of commercial aviation legacy. 
German engineer Klaus Becker dedicated four years studying original Boeing factory blueprints achieving accuracy that borders on historical obsession. Every passenger window, every panel line, every communications antenna matches manufacturer specifications scaled precisely to one-eighth original dimensions. The distinctive upper deck hump required 18 months of custom fiberglass molding experiments before achieving perfect curves. Flight characteristics faithfully replicate the real 747 world-famous STA ability and forgiving handling that made novice captains feel like seasoned veterans. Takeoff sequences stretch across 300 feet as turbines spool up to full operating temperature with that signature whine. Once airborne, this queen cruises at scale speeds approaching 60 miles per hour, banking with the dignified authority Pan Am pilots loved. Landing approaches demand experienced hands familiar with swept wing aerodynamics and the turbine throttle lag that catches amateur pilots off guard every single time. Ground crews use specialized equipment to service turbines between flights, treating this model with reverence reserved for museum pieces. While modern jets perfected commercial aviation capable of delivering supplies to forward bases lacking infrastructure under hostile fire. At 10 feet 3 inches, wingspan this Lockheed C-130 Hercules RC model deli. First capability, defying its modest dimensions completely. The distinctive high wing configuration and boxy fuselage instantly identify the workhorse serving military OPE rations through seven decades of conflict worldwide. Four brushless motors driving massive three-blade propellers generate thrust lifting demonstration payloads exceeding 20 pounds during tactical exercises. Builders showcase authentic airdrop capabilities releasing weighted parachute packages from the open rear ramp during low altitude passes over crowds. California RC Expo spectators watched stunned as pilot Mike Torres executed combat assault landing deliberately touching down on rough dirt. Reinforced landing gear absorbed bone jarring impacts that would shatter civilian model struts designed for Gene TL operations on smooth pavement only. Authentic military camouflage schemes replicate squadrons from Vietnam through Afghanistan campaigns. Entry-level kits start around $7,000, making this surprisingly accessible. The Hercules proved tactical transport could operate anywhere, but World War II needed legendary bombers, absorbing punishment, bringing crews home. At 13 feet, wingspan this Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. RRC model embodies the greatest generation spirit with remarkable authenticity. Weighing approximately 80 pounds, this tribute features four radial engines producing distinctive rumble enthusiasts recognized from vintage newsreels instantly. Historical accuracy reaches obsessive levels with builders researching specific aircraft that flew actual combat missions over Nazi-occupied Europe during daylight raids. The famous chin turret beneath the nose rotates smoothly during ground demonstrations honoring crews who never returned home. Flight characteristics demand respect from pilots accustomed to modern aerodynamics, non-existent in 1943. The B-17 requires constant attention due ring climbs fighting natural tendency, dropping left wing that kept real bomber pilots alert throughout dangerous missions over enemy territory. Restoration projects use original Boeing technical manuals, ensuring every rivet pat turn matches factory specifications. Prices range from $8,000 to $20,000. The Flying Fortress represented American industrial might, but Cold War needed reconnaissance aircraft outrunning missiles at unimaginable speeds through sky. At 6 feet 1 inch wingspan, the Freewing SR-71 Blackbird RC model shrinks, Lockheed Mach 3 Plus legend to manageable scale without losing an ounce of menace. This jet black ghost tips scales at just 12 pounds, making it remarkably light for twin turbine design capturing every aggressive line. Authentic titanium-colored paint schemes replicate heat-resistant finish required when friction heated original skin to over 600 degrees Fahrenheit during reconnaissance missions. Distinctive chined fuselage and blended wing design create the sinister profile that made Soviet radar operators nervous. Launch sequences require smooth concrete runways, as rough surfaces damage retractable landing gear designed for minimal drag at extreme velocities. Once airborne, the Blackbird accelerates with authority, leaving spectators speechless climbing at angles that seem physically impossible for any aircraft design. 
Advanced pilots perform high G-turns, showcasing design legendary stability, even when pulling maneuvers that would snap wings off lesser aircraft immediately. Price points around $700 make this surprisingly accessible for hobbyists, seeking Cold War authenticity without vintage Warbird expense today. Standing beneath these mechanical giants reminds us that greatness transcends scale when passion drives creation. Did this video inspire you? Smash that like button. Which aircraft shocked you most? Drop your thoughts below. Want more aviation content? Hit subscribe. Share this video now. Watch the videos on screen and continue with these aircraft. Bye bye.